Today, we're going to give you a redneck definition of common rail. This piece of art that you see here that is a hodgepodge of several different components of several different platforms of common rail light duty diesels is a masterpiece that is going to be a teaching tool for you as we go through this fantastic journey of fuel injection. Let's begin. I find myself when I say common rail to people, um, when talking about your platforms of trucks, if, uh, if a Dodge customer calls and he's not sure if he's got an O2 or O3, I'll always say, well, is it common rail? And sometimes that's where I lose them. So let's go into what is common rail once you have identified whether you've got a common rail or not. So the first thing in the circuit, in the common rail circuit, other than your fuel tank, let's cut all that part out. You guys are smart enough to know that. There's a fuel tank, it's got fuel in it, the fuel gets to the CP3 pump, but let's talk about the CP3 pump. CP3 pump, it is a dumb pump. It is an injection pump, but it is a dumb pump. Here's what the CP3 does. Fuel into the CP3. The CP3 has a metering valve on it called an FCA or fuel control actuator. Some people call it an improp. The metering valve on the CP3, it regulates the fuel flow internal to the CP3, which builds the pressure. That pressurized and that volume of fuel goes to the rail, common rail. The rail is the common collection system where the fuel is delivered to the injectors. The fuel is here and it is going through each individual port at the specified pressure that is coming out of the CP3 and it is always at the injectors. The injectors are the business end of this but we're not to the injectors yet. The rail itself has a couple of key components. It has got a fuel pressure sensor always that is inside of the rail or that is in an injunction block that is tied to the system itself and you also have a fuel pressure relief valve or a cascade valve some people call them uh, that will allow the overpressure if the uh, fuel pressure begins if the fuel pressure gets too high it will allow the excess fuel to dump off back to the tank then the pressurized fuel is delivered to the injectors the injectors receive a single from the FICOM or the uh, for the ECM uh, that create the combustion event that goes into the cylinders the fuel sprays in all the magic happens that's what makes the car go down the road the injectors are the brain of the are the op, uh, are the brains of the operation the CP3 is the brawn of the operation now, common rail injection, why is it here? Common rail injection, and this is a generalization that we're speaking in only the big three light duty platforms. Common rail injection is here because it is cleaner and it is more efficient. It works from a couple thousand PSI on startup to upwards of above 20,000 PSI at full power regiment. That gives you better atomization of the fuel, which is going to give you a cleaner burn and is going to give you a more efficient vehicle. And you're going to be able to pass all those uh, EPA standards and tiers and all the stuff that you really don't want to talk about today. So this hodgepodge of parts, we can go into this. This is a couple of, of components from several different trucks. This is actually a uh, rail pressure sensor from a 6.7 Dodge. It's got an LB7 injector here from the 01 to 04s, 5.9 rail. I don't know what the lines are off of. The CP3 is also, also off of a 5.9. This rail that I brought up for another demonstration, uh, for another, uh, demonstration component is off of an LB7. You Duramax guys are going to know that your FP, your uh, fuel pressure relief uh, uh, valve is in the back of the rail. Uh, some of the rails will have the uh, the uh, the pressure sensor actually on the Duramax rails. Uh, the Fords are completely different. The Fords from 08 and up is common rail. Uh, all of the components are pretty well the same. They may look different to you. Um, the Fords are, um, some of the later model Fords are, are piezo injections and we may get into that into another video. But I just wanted to give you a good overview of what is common rail today. I'm also going to help you with your acronyms when you're speaking to someone in fuel systems or common rail is where you're going to see a lot of this. You're going to see this everywhere in fuel. Um, fuel, when people are speaking in fuel terminology, you will always see talking in pressure. Most fuel guys will give it to you in bar. They'll say it's 1800 bar. One bar equals 14.5 PSI for us rednecks. Now, you, were, you are going to have some of your tuners that are going to display your fuel pressure at the rail in KPA. What is KPA? 1 KPA kilopascal is 0.145 PSI. So that gives you 
ammunition to have a good educated conversation with somebody about fuel common rail fuel injection if you so choose to so i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you've got any questions on common rail or anything else please give us a call thank you